we talk, we talked to started the series last week. I'm talking about self awareness, and one thing about self awareness is is the greatest uh, agent for change. And also, being self or being self aware actually improves you as a person and adds to you, adds value to you. And also, one thing that you need to know about being self aware is that it's the vital skill for fulfilling a purpose-driven life. So that's the foundation. The moment you are self-aware, the moment you're aware of yourself, it helps you in fulfilling purpose. And we started this series last week. It was quite an interesting show. And of course, we'll have a segue to that this morning. And of course, we'll allow for you to call it to the station. Last week, we had little or no time to take responses. But this morning, we'll definitely allow for you to call into the station at any point in time to ask questions. Guess we have in the building the full complements of this gentleman. Yes, he is a business expert, he's an economic expert, also is a life coach as well. So he'll be wearing the hat of the life coach this morning. I'm talking about Taiwo Balo. Good morning to you, good morning to you Taiwo. Good morning, Ewai. And a pleasure having you in the building as well. So last week, yes, Taiwo, uh, for those who are just tuning in for the very first time and did not listen to the show last week, last week we talked about self-awareness yeah. and also the benefits of being self-aware we talked about that it helps you to be much more creative sure. it helps build your relationship have strong relationship uh, as, as well it also helps you master your future sure. as a person and one thing that also caught, uh, caught my fancy is it helps you becoming it helps you to become an effective leader or more if you're a leader you become more effective sure. as a leader also we talked about how to become self-aware as well. Now let's, uh, for those who are just tuning in, in a nutshell, in a nutshell, let's establish what it means to be self-aware and what you stand to gain, you know, knowing that, yes, this is why I'm here on earth. And of course, the, the benefits as well. Okay, thank you, AY. And also, uh, B, blessing, how are you this morning? I'm good, thank you. How I, I can, are you? I can see that I'm doing great. great. Now, last week, we were able to establish the, the, the fact that um, self-awareness is the ability to accurately access and understand your strengths, your weaknesses, your mm. drives, your beliefs, your motivations, preferences, and personality in a way that will enables you to pinpoint how you impart your behavior mm -hmm. and also uh, uh, yourself and those around, around you. And then, um, like we mentioned last week, yeah. I told you that is a very essential skill mm -hmm. in fulfilling purpose in life. And so without being self, without having self-awareness, yeah your chances of fulfilling purpose in life are still. Yes, because, you know, a lot of people do things outside purpose. Mm. That's why you see everything goes for some people. And uh, uh, to me, I don't see, I mentioned something last week. I said there are businesses I, can't, I cannot go into. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, if yourself are aware, you will know yourself. You, oh. know your, you do your personality test mm. or check and you know what you are capable of doing at least to some extent mm. and uh, uh, and I, I think that will lead us to today's topic uh, uh, as you do that that uh, knowing your strength or knowing uh, uh, being self-aware will help you to to be more effective and uh, if you are more effective then you will be more productive mm. because one thing about being effective in, uh, in 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 comparison to efficiency is productivity, yes. and uh, one of the things that self awareness will do for you is it will help you to be effective in every areas of life. As in, okay, let's look at your decision making, mm. your your risk taking. Mm. And, uh, you know, when we talk about risk taking, I used to talk, I used to say, uh, okay, there are calculated risks and rewards. Very true. Yeah. Very true. Sponsor. Of which so many people don't do that. They mm -hmm. just go, you know, if you are taking risk, like we established last week, you also need to calculate the risk. Is the risk, is this risk worth taking? Mm -hmm. So this is part of the things that I'd like to establish as an intro to this uh, stuff. So talking about, okay, uh, talking about self-awareness, now you mentioned decision making, you also mentioned uh, risk taking as well. These yeah. are uh, attributes of leaders. Sure. 
And of course, uh, if you're not a leader, you're, if you are a leader, you definitely must be able to take risk and also make the right decision as well. Absolutely. No matter whose ox is God. Sure. Now, the question I want you to talk, I want you to address right now is looking at this as a leader. Okay. You you want you have to make a decisive. You have to take a, decide make a decisive decision or a very important decision, but. On the surface, that decision might not go down well with your team. Yeah, sure. Now, how would you implement that okay. as well? Okay. Now, one thing that you need to understand is that there is what we call a leadership or emotional leadership, hmm. or which some people call a emotional quotient, hmm. Q E, hmm. or emotional intelligence yeah yeah mm -hmm. now you need to understand as a leader this aspect and you see let me link it together self-awareness skills mm -hmm. are things that you need to improve your leadership emotional leadership mm -hmm. or your emotional intelligence now if you are not self-aware you can be faking unaware mm -hmm. based on your question mm -hmm. and see if you're not, uh, like you said, decisive decision, mm. if you're not efficient enough in discovering, you see, in PR, there's something that they taught us in PR, and uh, that is one thing I don't joke with, and I love this guy's book, Daniel, Daniel, is it Goldman about emotional intelligence? Is this guy that wrote yes. a book on emotional intelligence? In fact, in fact it's a textbook mm. that we need to read. Every leader should do that should get that book and read. Now, you see, when you understand your, when you are self-aware, then your emotional leadership mm. will be at a level that you can never be caught unaware. Mm. Irrespective of, of the, or the decision okay. you want to yeah. take, the, the occasion mm. or the circumstances. Like what we see happening in Nigeria now, I am not a politician and mm. I don't like talking more of politics. politics yeah. But however, to some extent, when you look at the the past administ administration of like uh, Babab Yabo or mm. compared to what we have now, you you see the, the the that emotional leadership principle in that compared to what we have now. Hmm. You don't want to ruffle some <laughs> political feathers, right? <laughs> All right. In your intro, you made mention of something as, uh, when you were introducing self-awareness. Yes. And you made mention of focusing on your strength. Yeah. But then we are encouraged to, we are encouraged mostly by uh, motivational speakers who tell us that you can, you can do anything that you put your mind to, anything that you can think of, you yeah. can actually do it now. If you are now are self-aware and you say to yourself, okay, this is not my line, I cannot do that. Isn't that limiting yourself? Yeah, it is. Like one thing about, you know, last week we talked about uh, doing self-SWOT analysis. Mm. Now, one thing about weaknesses and strength is this. While knowing your strength will help you, one thing that knowing your strength will help you to do is it, it will help you to figure out when you need to draw on the strength of others. Okay, you, so you are you drawing from or you're leveraging on? Okay, let's say let, let let me use the word leverage then. Okay, now it will help you to leverage on the strength of others. Mm. You know, some people are not self -motiv motivated. Yes. They can't motivate themselves. Mm. They need someone to motivate them. Mm -hmm. Now, if you know that that is your weakness, then you need someone, either a mentor or someone or a motivator, a counselor mm. that will help you in that area so that you know that, okay, I'm leveraging on this. This is my strength. This is my weakness. Okay. And we mentioned something last week about looking for the opposite of you mm. in when you're working on yourself as in self-awareness now. Don't always move around people that will be telling you all is well, mm. oh, all is good. The look does. for yes, look for the opposite that can complement your weakness. Mm. And then now mm. strength. Now uh, strength is something that it, that will help you to appropriately make decision, even in this disastrous situation. Let me link it with your question now. Mm. Even in a dis disastrous dis situation, at times you see, I I used to watch. Uh, uh, most of American leaders, when they are giving speech, they don't read their speech. 
Mm. But when you look at African leaders, some of them read speech. And you see, you can be caught on a way. Yeah, true. One, uh, uh, a vice president has that, uh, that uh, strength. It's, it's good yeah. in that area. It doesn't, you see, you see that he's a communicator. Yeah. And you know, one thing I, I, I mentioned last week is that one of the things that self-awareness will do for you is it will make you a good communicator. Definitely. Mm. So, you know, irrespective of your strength mm. or your weakness, you can balance things mm. when you are, you are even caught on a way. It comes natural. Too. Yeah, you be, it flows from within. Mm. You understand? And that is one thing that uh, uh, we need to understand as we do our personal uh, check or personality check. Now, okay, you mentioned talking about, you know, choosing a team or working with a team and you said that we should not look out for people that will just keep on cheering you and also look at look out for people that would actually in, in, for the lack of a better word critique you okay now how do you decipher how do you draw a line between criticisms and opposition okay so that that's where emotional intelligence comes in mm. because at times you you need to realize that come even if they are praising you you okay that this is my strength oh yeah. this guy is good this guy is good at least you still know that ah there are some things i need to learn you are there nobody is an island you understand we need each other now where do you need to draw the line now comes in to the fact that see if they are deceiving you don't deceive yourself mm. yeah that is when you need to in the course of doing your self SWOT analysis you should be able to at least pen down you know me, last week i mentioned something about journaling yes true. which uh, a lot of people don't take cognizance of that word it's the same word as them um, blogging mm. blogging now you see when you inhabit when you okay when you are the type that journal things about yourself about what happens to you on a daily basis at least oh, uh, wow. I, eh? Oh wow! Yeah, That's a on a daily basis. <laughs> now, scary. yeah, on a daily basis, you you will realize that one thing that it will do for you is that it will help you to build your emotional intelligence. It will help you. Most of the times, you would see that at least I'm growing because one thing about emotional intelligence is this: there's what we call emotional literacy mm. that so many people don't care. You know, like some people learn by their environment what is happening around them some people learn their emotional uh, feelings through watching others what others are saying about me oh eh, ay is this oh ay is that ay i i overheard him not overhead i overheard her on her yesterday when she was saying ah uh, when did you get married i, I was like ah look at uh, be blessing him <laughs> She does all the time. She yeah. All the time. <laughs> so, so you understand, but if care is not taken, mm. if your emotional literacy is not up to a level, at the point you'll be, you'll be feeling somehow and say, ah, why is Blessing always saying this? Mm. I think there is something to it. She, 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 she like, wishes like, she was in that position. Let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay, uh, the lights are not done. But now, now, criticisms, condemnation. Mm. What is the difference? Now, critic, like criticisms and condemnation. Mm. Mm. How do you decipher? Wow. Now, you see, <laughs> condemnation is, is a destructive oh. word mm. that um, is just like, okay, I got a, a, new, a new suit mm. and I've bought the suit. You know, I know that, okay, I've bought the suit. And I'll come to you and say, hey, what? Do you like this suit on me? How is this suit on me? Mm. And you are now using destructive, con, con, condemning, condemning words. Mm. You understand? Trying to say, ah, who saw these things? Terrible. Is the guy a barber? <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Okay. But at least you, should, you should be able to compliment my effort mm. that come. This guy has gone far to buy this thing. Okay. Let me, okay, fine. He's not looking good. He's not that smart on him. Okay. Let me just look for a word or some things to compliment his effort and say, ah, he's looking, you're looking good on this, but it's like the hand is too long for you. But how many people can do that? <laughs> so, most people like to come out, as, they give it to you as it is. Raw. No time, no time. And you know, you can, no, you can destroy that person's happiness. But they say the truth is bitter. 
Yeah, but you have to be you have to be diplomatic in in saying the truth at times. But that's mm. criticism, yes, because it's 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 it, it didn't come out in the right way. But then when you look into it, it's there are some facts. Sure. In, in what has been said. But but, but thinking, you, okay. okay. But you know there there is positive criticism or um, critics. Yeah. And there's negative. Negative, true. Mm. True. That. So like most of the time, I do that. I I like uh, AY used to say that I'm a mom with, with many hats. Yeah. I I am a, a a professional graphic designer. Hmm. So most of the time when I'm designing, you know, from the concept, I pick my pen, draw, and I then put it on the system. I call my wife, come, tell me, come and see this. How do you see this? You know, women are good with color combinations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand mm -hmm. than men. So me, I might be looking at this color and she will just come and say, ah, no, you can't use this. Why can't we put this, move this here, move it. And before you know, bam, by the time I throw it up there, people say, wow, this mm, is good. Who, who is designing for you? Mm. You understand? So uh, compared to someone that says, after I'm your husband, I am a professional graphic designer. Mm. Why will you be telling me? <laughs> <laughs> That's about the music title. So would you come back, of course, definitely will delve into emotional intelligence and emotional literacy. You can be a part of the show at that time. In the meantime, a song done by the legend himself, Two Face, True Love, Enjoy. Drive, AY Smooth, and Blessing right here. What do you think's down? Yes, we still have Taiwo Balumo. And we've been talking about self-awareness and how what it how you can actually benefit from you knowing, you know, having that self-awareness. And we're talking about it as well. You can be a part of the show. 0906 three three five two. That's number to call. 0906 Before the music tower, we delved a bit into emotional intelligence. And I want us to expatiate on that as well. What does it mean, EI? We, I, we know of artificial intelligence. Yeah. Yeah, but what is emotional intelligence? Okay, thank you. Now, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, there's also technical intelligence. Yeah. Now, let's dive into art, uh, emotional intelligence or emotional leadership or emotional quotient. Now, I love the way Wikipedia puts it. Mm. It says, is the capacity of individuals to recognize their own emotions and those of others. Mm -hmm. They stand between different feelings and label them appropriately. Use emotional information mm -hmm. to guide thinking and behavior and manage or adjust emotions to adapt to environment or achieve one's goal. Now, from this definition, I realized that them. Um, even before you can manage your capacity or the capacity of individuals mm. to recognize you, when someone says something bad to you, mm. how do you control your emotions? Mm. You understand? How do you, I love That's the way big one. I love the way the scripture puts it. Also, although it's not a preaching uh, <laughs> that uh, if you get annoyed easily, then you are not wise. Mm. So if you are easily controlled by what others Sorry. are doing and saying, uh, you understand? How, when do you want to grow? And you know, last week we talked about, we linked um, self-awareness with self-improvement. Yes. That is a key requirement in becoming self-developed or improve yourself. You understand? So this is something that we need to understand. And I also have a definition that says, is the quality that enables us to confront uh, uh, with, to, to confront with, patience, insight, and imagination of problems that we face in our effective relationship with others and with ourselves. Unlike, okay, look at what is happening now. A lot of things is going to happen on Friday. Yes, a whole lot. No, I can't. Yeah, a lot will happen on Friday, yeah. Valentine. Yeah. Mm. And a lot of people's uh, emotion will be tampered with. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Positively or negatively. Or, or negatively. negatively. You understand? <laughs> so this is, I've been in a country that that day is a day that some people will get that. <laughs> you, you understand? A, yeah, true. So we need to be, to be able to balance things mm. in terms of bringing self-awareness together with uh, emotional intelligence. Let me let me sneak in, sneak in this question right now. Okay. As a leader in an organization, especially oh. at the top uh, level, do you have to bring the, your emo emotional intelligence to play? Because it will hinder decision making. Most times you have to, like you I mentioned, I think that's the first question he brought. You have to um, make decisions that are not so good 
that wouldn't all go well for for the employees or you might know, not go colleagues. down. Might not go down. You know, well and, them, but and as a leader, you have to t make that decision. So what to. happens? Are you less intelligent at that point? No, okay. not at all. You need. You see, as a leader, you definitely need to operate at a level that even people will know that this guy is is sound emotionally. Hmm. Now you can't say, okay, you have an issue with your wife at home hmm. or your husband at home, and you when you get to the office, you now transfer Change that. Out everybody. No, 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 no. Even you have to you have to realize that come, this is working environment. Hmm. I have people around me that are watching me, that are you know some people are okay. Something happened. There was there was this woman that 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 a lady that had a a, a mentor. An elderly person as a mentor, and you know she was like of the fact that I'm a Christian. I don't want to put on trousers, you know. And one day, she saw her mentor putting on trousers, mm. and that broke her. You know, she was she was heartbroken, and she was crying. People were asking her what happened. She said, ah, um, "I saw my mentor putting on trousers." Mm. Now, if the mentor is not matured enough, you know she can go. She can make wrong decisions. By virtue of that. So now well, let's bring it to the workplace, mm -hmm. to the business now. You cannot transfer whatever happens even between your immediate boss to, you understand? You need to like, okay, I have uh, the chairman of a board yes. said something that is annoying. Mm -hmm. And you as the CEO that needs to manage the affairs of the, you understand, activities yeah, okay. of, the, of the company now comes to the, to the, to the meeting and say, Based on what has happened up there, you are now you know you can't do no, that. No. You need to at least have a level of tolerance, be able to manage the situation. Now, yes, they might be able, they might sense that something is wrong with Oga today. This man is not himself, but at least to some extent, let because you need to work according to the ethics of that company, mm. also the vision of that company. Mm. Don't forget. You understand? So, as a leader, we need to, it is something that you cannot run away from. Emotional education, mm. emotional literacy is something that we should always develop ourselves. And that's why I love the book that I mentioned earlier about um, emotional intelligence. intelligence. Yes, yeah. by uh, Daniel, Daniel Goma. Yes, emotional intelligence. Why it can matter more than IQ. Mm. It so matters a lot. It's more important than being super intelligent. It's because you see, you can be super intelligent and misbehave yes. even in the public. Mm. And you see, people are watching, just like you know, cleric mm -hmm. that ah, that guy, that pastor is sound. That imam is sound. And when he, he react mm. in some circumstances, you say, ha, ah, as sound as this man, as anointed as he is. Mm. Oh, so this yes. is, oh, and people right. will now be shifting that. You understand? Let's open the phone line 0906 That's the number to call. Uh, the other number is a bit down at this time. But let's just keep it with uh, 0906 We're talking about self-awareness and also we've delved into emotional intelligence. Now, one thing I know about emotional intelligence is as a leader or as an individual, you must be able to empathize. Mm. That means putting yourself in other people's shoes. Shoot, yeah. Now, as a leader or as a head of a department and or probably a superior, how can you achieve this? Yeah, you. it's it's not easy, but you must stand your ground. Mm. You know, one thing about um, work uh, 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 environment in this part of the world is this. Don't forget, your employee, your employees want, will want to take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. But as a leader, of that or as the founder of that organization you need to stand your ground this is what this company stands for this is what i as a person stands for even though you have a favorite in the team yeah, yeah. Or a friend you will definitely have mm. because behind every 12 there is you understand mm. six three and one mm. <laughs> you understand so we need to stand our ground and say come it is for the benefit of everybody not my own benefit alone. Mm. You understand? And that is why I love companies where or organization where you get to, you see it will be written boldly on the wall. Mm. The value of that company. Yes. The core value, what we stand for, 
what our aims and object objectives, our uh, vision, vision statement, our mission statement, like uh, Jordan Heavy FM ha have it in the studio. Gotcha. You see, you can't forget that this is what we stand for. Mm -hmm. So if you misbehave, we just point it to you and say, look at, look at what you see. This is what we stand for. Mm -hmm. So it's something that we really need to embrace in making good or decisive decisions as leaders. Now, how can I boost my leadership skills through oh. self-awareness? Oh, good, good. Good. Now let me let me let me answer that by sharing this with you. The six basic emotions that we have: we have happiness, there's sadness, there's fear, there's uh, disgust, there's anger, and surprise. Now, if you want to boost your emotional intelligence, you need to understand these these uh, uh, types of of emotions. emotions that we have, and be able to. It's just like uh, when when. You are in the classroom, in a classroom, and uh, you became the first mm. this time. And unfortunately, second time, you became the third. Mm. Now, don't forget when you were the first in first position, people will be praising you. Oh, that guy is good. That guy is brilliant. Now, if you allow that to get into you, eh, it might affect your performance. Oh wow! Even as leaders. Mm. You oh, we, we should compliment our leaders. Yeah, it is we good. We should give them thumbs up when they do well. Yeah, it is. It is. It is good because every human being needs compliment. Mm. You need because it will also help you. It will. It will help you to to be more effective mm. and productive. But don't allow that to get into it's your okay. brain, mm. so that you now be misbehaving. Now to answer your question, once you understand this, okay. Okay, I got a promote, promotion in the office. Don't forget that some people are not happy. Mm. It is not everybody that happy that is happy with whatever you're doing. Mm. So you need to have that at the back of your mind. Although that you won't operate by that, but don't feel everybody things are going mm. wrong well with you. Understand? Even in this small uh, uh, this organization, mm, everything is not. You understand? Yeah, so sure. you understand that, then you now be able to even among siblings. Yeah. You now be able to balance, yes, amongst the siblings. I remember the story of Joseph. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> you understand? Then you use that to balance things mm -hmm. and see how you can improve your emotion, emotional literacy. Before you go to the next point, let's see this person here. On WhatsApp, my contribution to this subject matter is that we need to recognize individual's opinion and never use another person's opinion to form our decision. Amos Simon. Thank you for that message. Thank you. All right, so the next point. Now, the next point is now in, in, on, in improving our own uh, 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 emotional literacy, we need to learn to invest in ourselves. How? The best inf investment so far is the one you made in yourself. Hmm. Reading books, attending seminars, trainings, workshops that will help your emotional intelligence that will help you to be more self-aware, mm. that would, you know, increase your efficiency and, and, and productivity. You need that. You see, when, when they say average CEOs read uh, about 50 books in a month or in, in a year, mm. now you know secrets are loaded in books and you must be able to tap from books of people that are there so learn from them. Then the other thing is, and that's why I love that book by, by Go, uh, Daniel, mm. Daniel Goleman. And uh, also you have to improve your self-awareness skill. Improve it. You know, last week I said something about uh, uh, looking at yourself objectively. Mm. You need to always look that because if you concentrate more on your weaknesses, there will be a problem. Okay. Concentrate more on your weaknesses in the area of building up. Change that weakness, convert it to strength. Although you cannot convert all, mm. but to an extent. Mm. You know, some people, you see some people will tell you that, ah, if you know Taiwo before, <laughs> if you know blessing before, mm. oh, thank God for this. Mm. So that means that person has been able to move from a level mm. to another you understand? Yeah. 
Okay. So by so doing, we should be able to, and as we grow up, mm. we should learn to drop some things. Mm, great. Uh, your personality traits, I know, has a whole lot to do with how uh, you are self-aware and how emotionally intelligent that you become. It, it's it's like the superficial traits, it's like the um, most visible trait you have mm. as, as a person. That's your uh, personality trait. I don't that, that's I don't know what you call it. The sanguine and all of that. Your temperament. Your temperament. Uh, your temperament. Your temperament. Yeah. Now, how does that affect the level of your level of emotional intelligence? It does. And that's why we need to, it's part of, you know, it's part of uh, the, the, the things that we need to work on. Because your level of temperament is very, is a very important area of life that you must work on. Yes, people always want to tamper with it. Mm. But at least, I, I, used to, I used to learn something from my mom. My mom would say, whenever I'm moving out with you mm. as a friend, he said, I used to leave a gap for a day that there will be quarter within us. Mm. Wow. Now, he said, he, she wouldn't want to do something or rely on you to the extent that when that day comes, you mm -hmm. now have to be, you know, you've told her, you've told him everything about you, your, you know everything about your weaknesses, your past, your, you know, just like social media. Don't put what you don't want them to bring out later on social media. True. You are what you post. Very true. And by the time they now use it against you. Mm. You're angry. You understand? <laughs> so irrespective of your temperament, you definitely will react. But you also need to be careful. Don't post what you don't want them to publish. Mm. Now, using em emotional intelligence and interpreting body language. Yeah. Now, how can you achieve that? Because as a leader, you must be able to decipher people's body languages. Mm. Is that also emotional intelligence? Yeah. Being able to um, listen or read people's body language. Sure. That's is. emotional intelligence. Yes, yes. Now, one of the ways to improve your emotional intelligence mm. is to observe others. Mm. Yes. In observing others, we can often learn a great deal about our behavior, about yourself. Body language. What's this person talking about me when I greet him or her? How mm. did she or he respond? Isn't that forming opinions? No, 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 no. Head? It is not. Because sometimes it might not even be true. You might be thinking something else, and the person, when you get finally get to confront the person, the person tells you, "I wasn't even thinking that." But at least to an extent, it will help you to be more self-aware mm. and know how to at least deal with that person. Mm. You know, some people when they just and that's one thing. We have a policy in my house that uh, we don't discuss people's issue in the presence of our children. Why? Because whenever that child sees that person, yeah. he will just Definitely. Come and make a decision and say, this is the person this exactly. person is. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, that's not. But True. however, body language is mm. something that we need to be very, very uh, uh, careful about also. But it is something that will help our behavior because Observing others, you know, last week we mentioned something about like, hey, he, he can't walk. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Once you know that this is the kind of my husband, let me be able to manage him. Mm. This is my kind of wife, let me be able to manage her. Then we can now live together mutually. So, as a leader, you must be able to completely interpret or uh, apply wisdom in deciphering i love the body. word wisdom mm. apply wisdom mm. that is the key wisdom mm. because it will definitely help you and another thing that will also help you is self-reflection mm. self-reflection mm. yes each time you take you take you reflect reflect on yourself mm. on your behaviors okay how did i act to blessing mm. when i saw you know at times some people just react react to you uh -huh. Do some things to you and they don't even mean it. Exactly, true. Uh Tyro, we have to drop the curtains on the show <laughs> right now. Special thanks to you. Really appreciate you. God bless you big time. We'll definitely have a segue to this okay. next week. And of course we'll continue to take it further as well. We're gonna be looking at self-reflection deeply next week as well.